off? It's already been turned off since yesterday, and I still receive uh, the notifications on the lock screen. The notification for text messages. Yes, it says uh, show a previous or recent message on the status bar on the lock screen and is not checked. Yeah, and what other options do you have for notifications uh, there under the settings? Uh, that's all I know. You have uh, message alert response once every two minutes, every uh, ten minutes, which would just send, would send you a message every time you get a text message. They would send you another notification saying you got one. There's a notification make sound uh, and show icon in the status bar. And that's the normal one that would be up there. And this only happened when I upgraded a, a Android 4.3. This actually never happened on the uh, older version of uh, Android. This this problem never happened until I upgraded uh, yesterday. Yep. Everybody I know who has this uh, update is having the same problem because they don't want to have the uh, it displaying on the lock screen. And actually, you have it set the right way. Yep, I have it set where it's turned off. And uh, Verizon Wireless told me in the store you cannot turn it off. They told me I'd have to root the phone to have it turned off. Oh no. Well, if the setting is turned off like it's supposed to, then why am I still receiving uh, notifications on the lock screen? And um, under the settings for the messaging, do you have an option to just turn off all the notifications? Um, well, if I turn off all notifications, I would turn off the notifications when I get a text message. Right. And I don't want to have it where I can't receive text messages from, like, whoever is uh, texting me. Because the only thing, the only thing that says for turn off the lock screen says, uh, preview messages, and that is not checkmarked. Nope. But like your Verizon Wireless told me, you can't do it unless you root the phone. But I know other people uh, who've told me they've done it without uh, rooting their phone. No, it's not, it's not recommended to root the phone. Something that you may like to try is to go to a Samsung experience shop and have all your information backed up and ask them to reflash the phone. Rewrite the operating system because that could be a software glitch. Because I know uh, uh, I have other friends who are having the same problem, so it's not just my phone. But they had the same problem after the upgrade, right? Well, only on the upgrade did it start displaying the messages on the home screen and uh, or on the lock screen and. Uh, it's been, it, and I've had other people that have the same phone that upgraded, and they're having the same problem. But I know other people who uh, was able to turn it off. Okay, but if you're, if you're following the right procedure, and it is not working, then it is recommended that to build you, back up your info, and reset the phone, then restore all your info again, so that that make it work, or if you want, I can connect your overall level to on the system. Because at least my end, you're following all the, the right procedures. It should be working based on the settings you have. Okay. Let me do both. Like, I will locate it for a 
location where you can go in. And if you like, I can get connected over with a lot of you. One second, please. Okay. Are you guys hearing this thing? Reboot your phone. Hack your phone. <laughs> Are you hearing this, YouTube? This dude's telling me to hack it. That's funny.